Hello, welcome. In this video you will learn how you can make parametric skin design like Najerdo Football Stadium. Location Debrecen, Hungary. Before starting to the tutorial, here is my Patreon page. If you want to support the channel this is the best place. With this, you can get all finished project files, grasshopper script, rhino files, upcoming tutorial project files, and more. So check that out. Let's begin the tutorial right away. I started with rectangle and connect the mains in X and Y. Connect one number slider to both that and B input, then add expression mines X in one of them. This gives us a rectangle starting from the center. Radius value can be used to modify each corner's roundness. Move this curve in Z direction, this will be the height of our skin. The next goal is to create a loft between these two curves. To get more control of the mill form I will add one extra curve between them and offset it. To do that use the tween curve component and then connect to the offset curve component. Now merge these curves and create a loft. Here offset curve component adds one extra branch so flatten it to remove unnecessary branch. Next goal is to make diagonal lines on this surface. To get UV grids of point use divide surface component. Here we have 6 branches and 95 items in each. Using flip matrix flip into 95 branches and 6 items in each. This mean these 6 point are in one branch. Next goal is to make these power line diagonal. To do that we shift these point. The first level shift by 0, the second one shift by 1 and so on. create shifting order I will create series of numbers using series component. Add expression x plus 1 to match list length to number of item in each branch. Now graph to match the tree structure. Here the last curves get L shape at the end. This is created due to the duplicate point in divide surface component. To visualize the duplicated points use list item and provide index of mines 1 or 0. Here we can remove these point using call index component. Now everything is good, let's pass to the next step. Next goal is to separate the start and end segment of each curve. Use the list item and provide index 0 and mines 1 to select the first and last curve. This gives us 94 branches and 2 items in each using flip matrix flip into 2 branches and 94 items in each. Next using shift item shift the order of list by 1. Merge then graft and simplify both input to get merge 2 curve in 1 branch. Now we can create loft. Now 
Next, remove the first and last vertex using Cull Index component, Flip Matrix, and Create Power Line. Invert C to get closed curve. By using Explode Curve component, explode the curve into different segment. Next, we are going to make two curves in one branch. Let's say A and B. Both curves will be scale in one center. The same is true for all the remaining curves. To make two items in one branch, I use partition list component. The center of the scale will be these points, but we select by leaving one point in the middle. To match tree structure graph the points. Now by using shift path we can trim the top level of tree, this help us to flip the matrix. Next create mesh loft. Here we scale all curves equally, but we need to scale the curve at the middle maximum to get the shape like in this image. Using list length determine how many point in one branch. Add expression x plus 1 to match list length. Next remap using graph mapper and remap numbers. To use these value for scaling first we need to match the data structure step by step. First match the data to explode tree component using flip matrix. Next mash the data tree to output of partition list component. To do that we can apply the same tree partitioning method.
change the v-count into even numbers, so it will be divisible by 2 without decimal. Next, we are going to move the middle curve to make zigzag structure like this. The goal is create another surface with different offsetting value and pull the curve into it. Using Dispatch separate the consecutive item into two lists. Next pull the control point of the curves that placed in Biapo to the surface. Recreate the curve using polyline and combine back to output using weave component. Flatten to remove tree structure. Next match these lofted mesh tree structures like in the previous. This helps us to join and weld each strip separately. Join and wheel from Weaver Bird, this helps to not create crease at joining location. Next, join all mesh together, but this time flatten the input and weld into false. This helps us to create creases at the mesh edges. Next to get some other result we use sub D for mesh component. Here we need to pinch these area. This can be done by changing sub decrease option to it mesh edges.
Next, smooth the edges a little bit. To do the extract mesh using sub D for mesh component, give the resolution to 3. After that recreate sub D using sub D for mesh component. Next we create the top part, to do that we create a rectangle at the center. Using list items select the points that are on the top. Using curve closest point point component determine the closest point on the rectangle. Create tween point between these two sets of points. Now to make zigzag structure we need to move the points in the direction by leaving one point in the middle. To do that partition the list into two and move with two different z vectors. Next create arc using these point. Rebuild the arcs in degree of 1. Use previous mesh loft setup.
join this mesh to the previous one. This is the final result, thanks for watching see you in the next video.